You think you are? I am. And I am in this house. And what would the neighbours think? What empty sense of humour. You lose it when you've had two kids. Three, rather. I'm just going to go upstairs for something. into the room and freed me. She was tall, like seven feet. She had like pointed black beehive hair and was dressed all in black as well. Her face was really pale, like a dead body. She slowly drifted over to me and, and pushed her face up against mine. It was horrible. It's not real. And... It gets worse. After she untied me and, and disappeared, I got up and looked in the mirror and saw my face change into hers. I lost control of my body and it, it took me downstairs. I could hear all of you laughing. I opened the door to the lounge and you were all out on the floor, dead, and there was blood everywhere. Dad, I'm scared. Will you untie me, please? I can't do that, Laura. Why won't you? I think you need help. So you leave me here rotten away? I think you're dangerous. Dad, I thought you would help me. I'm trying. These nightmares you keep having, after all these months, they don't sound good at all. And I just don't know what's causing them. Leave me. Laura. Get out! Enjoy our dinner? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm always ready for mine. I am the hard worker though. I think I deserve it. How's college? Fine. Fine. Sorry? Fine. Fine. I hope you're both keeping yourselves to yourselves. Oh, we could just let them do what they want. I'm not trying to force anything on them, Diane. I just want them to fit in, like respectable young people. I think you've had enough. I'm saving some for Laura. She's not going to eat it. To be honest, it's just going to go to waste. We need to make her eat. 
You don't need to be a doctor to know that. I think she needs more than a doctor. Andrew, would you and Tom mind clearing the table, please? I'm going to take Laura's dinner. Well, she would rather take it. Brought you dinner. Your mother thinks you're not eating. I don't want it. What's wrong? What's wrong? What do you think is wrong? Me and your mother think you're not well. I don't want to hurt you. And four of you have hurt me. We've never changed, Laura. I can see that now. Look. Just try some of the food. None of you listen, do you? Why do the things that you've done? You came downstairs once sleepwalking with a knife in your hand. Why would you do that? I don't know. But I do know that I don't want to hurt any of you. Let me out, please. I don't want to die up here. I can't. <laughs> Give me her life! You've always been an ungrateful little bitch. <laughs> Stop touching my things. I thought you were asleep. Well, you thought wrong. I'm asleep or awake. You're just the same to me. Why do you hate me, Kate? Were you jealous? Jealous? I don't want to be tied to a bedpost. I meant when we were really young. What did I have that you didn't? Yeah. You were the favourite for a while. And you loved it. You love watching Mum and Dad ignore me. I'm glad they finally saw how abnormal you are. You say that because I'm tied up. You've always been tied up, really. Tom and I made the right choice and you just became less and less important. You're the odd number. You should never have been born. You let the entire family down just exist. <laughs> Fucking fall! Fucking bitch! I have the blinds closed. I want them open. I want the entire street to see. You know, I was thinking over lunch. How can I carry this on? You <laughs> scan out and leave me alone. Not this time. I don't think I'll stop it now. I wish Mum and Dad knew what you are. They don't hate you, you know. I mean, the lives would be easier if it didn't exist, but they don't hate you. In fact, none of us hate you. It's all just been built into this. A moment of truth. Leave me alone. You know when you walk into a room 
and then you forget why you entered in the first place. That's how everyone feels about you. But I know exactly why I've entered this time. creatures could travel more than 30,000 kilometers in a lifetime on their permanent quest for rain. Told you not to go into Laura's room. I heard you. Sorry. Leave her alone. I'm just tucking her in. Well, leave her. Thank you. 